to Geppetto. Plus, I'm Leto. Where's my stiletto? Tell my Jordan, send me my retro. Used to bite, but now I'm just hetero. Ain't talking medicine, but I made a morphine. Ever since I put the cookie on quarantine, you know this thing A1 like a felony. All he gotta do is say the. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time. Um, a lot has happened. I am currently at my dad's house. This is his studio. That is his record label. And I got my wisdom teeth out. As you can tell by the title, that is going to be the discussion for today. Is crazy, um, painful. Um, a lot. Also, I got married. I'm just kidding. I did not get married. This is like a promise ring. Isn't it so pretty? It's like a moonstone. So like, that's why it's like turning different colors. But it's really pretty and it's rose gold so it does not get green or anything when i take showers and stuff and i love it so anyway i'm gonna show you some pictures the videos that i have to show y'all are so embarrassing oh my gosh I, my lips were so chapped it's of what i looked like before surgery like after surgery what's that where you gotta sit. <laughs> Nigga took a Spanish. <laughs> Nigga's got my baby up for fucking perk, birdie. He said it's gonna be hydrocodone. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna send it to this pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Downstairs. So probably. You should ask them. It's still gonna choke on me. About a week after surgery. And now it's been two weeks, almost three weeks after surgery. So I'm pretty much healed. My face is already naturally really round. So now it's just you know, normal. I have structure now. And before I just was like super round. Right here. Okay, so first off, the medicine that my doctor used, I'm pretty sure is not the same as the medicine that like other people get because I was fully aware when I woke up like, I was not out of it. I was just kind of tired, but otherwise I was not out of it. I could have a complete conversation. You can't have gauze? Straws. Straws? Straws. You can't have straws? Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. Your lips mad dry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have lips in my bag behind you. Where are you? You didn't bring a book bag. I did. Mm -hmm. I did. I promise you. <laughs> I did. I you. I'm just playing. I'm not a surgeon. Yes, sir. I'm just messing with you. My cute little. Maybe my boyfriend did not understand what I was saying, but I was making sense okay i knew that it was bad bitch o'clock and that i needed my lip gloss to continue the day i don't know i should have brought a friend because he was not on the timing that i was on period i got a new job i work from home we are in the process of moving, still looking for an apartment. Oh my gosh, I told y'all I wanted to move by July. I told y'all I wanted to move before my birthday. My birthday was July 14th. We are still not moving. So yeah, that's what we've been dealing with. One moment. I needed to get my Fenty Beauty Invisiblot. I think that's how you Universal, oh, Invisimat. 
I love this thing. And I have the refills too. I love this. It's so cute. Oh, watch. Watch the um the um difference. Watch. And it's only one color. And it fits everybody. Look at that. Perfection. Mm. Oh my gosh, let's talk about Fenty skin. Dude. I waited like a dummy and I shouldn't have waited because I looked on the website like a few days ago. Everything is sold out. Well, not everything. Like you can buy the toner. You can buy the toner. But you can buy the toner and the SPF. But the cleanser is sold out and then the um the starter kit is sold out i tried to do the wet look this is what i got and i tried it multiple times i used to know how to do it like really well but i guess my hair changed i don't know but y'all want to know a secret of how i'm getting my skin so clear these days i've been putting aloe on my skin like twice a day in the morning when i wake up I rinse my face off and then I put aloe, like aloe leaf, I cut a piece of the leaf off and rub it all over my face and let it sit for like five minutes, rinse it off and then I moisturize with um, my Cetaphil. And stay hydrated please. Bad bitches drink water. The lip gloss that I'm loving these days. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. BRB. Bag. Two lip glosses that I've been using are both from Body G Lips. And she's so sweet. Black owned and operated. This one is autumn. As you can see, I'm getting down to the bottom of it. I am an OG crayon case fiend, okay? This is the crayon case color pencil. To get this lip, I used coffee and black rinse which I'm trying to find, oh, he, there they are. I use coffee a lot, as you can see. It's the one on the bottom. See the size difference? Um, and you just sharpen them like regular pencils and they're so soft, like they don't hurt as I've encountered with other pencils. So like I just take, oops, I take black ring and I just line it right here. There's something, there's something about a black liner that I just think is so hot. It's so like, it's like a 90s type look, which I love. And if you don't like it, then you know, don't do it. Just like everything else. This is just how I did it today. I I don't usually use black. Usually I use um the color Bear, which is like a really dark brown. But today I was feeling like using black. And then I just go over it with um, coffee, which is a brown, a light brown. So just like tone it down a little bit. This one needs to be sharpened. That's okay. And then I go over it with Autumn, which is my boo-boo, my fave. It's so light and just so pretty. Watch. And it has little sparklies in it. Mmm. And it smells like mangoes. Mmm. Let me get a little closer. I thought a I thought a chap lip bitch said something. My fault. I thought a chap lip bitch with no lip gloss said something, but it must have been my AC. It must have been my AC. Yeah, I thought a no lip bitch said something. Oh, 
My fault. My fault. But yeah, so after <laughs> after my wisdom teeth surgery, my mouth feels fine. I mean, it's been two, almost three weeks because I got it done on the 20th. So, oh wait, has it been three weeks? I don't know. Y'all look at the calendar. I don't got a calendar in front of me. I don't know. Two or three weeks. Um, my mouth feels normal now. However, I will talk about the stuff that they do not tell you because honestly, there was a lot that like I don't understand. They wait at least at my doctor or my surgeon's office. They wait until after you finished your procedure and you're all drugged up to tell you what to do when you get home. Like, y'all could have told me this when I was sober before I got the stuff done. And I could have remembered that. Instead, they tell me when I'm sleepy deepy, dopey soapy, in the chair, recovering, barely could lift my eyelids off my eyes, trying to go home. Oh, you're gonna have to wash with salt water and eat this solid, no, so no straws. Like, so she's over here telling me, and I'm like, can you write it down? <laughs> it's like, can you write it down? Because I'm not gonna remember this. Like, I'm, t I'm, I'm somewhat out of it. Like, oh yeah, we'll we'll give you a slip that says everything on it. I'm like, cool, y'all. When I tell you about two two to three hours after getting home after surgery my mouth like my jaw it's basically my jaw my jaw felt like somebody rocked my shit like it felt like i got my shit rocked and i was just feeling the pain from getting my shit rocked like like boom, 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 boom. Like it felt like my surgeon went in there and was like with the freaking brass knuckles, bow, 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 bow. like do, 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 do. In my mouth, and like when I got home and I was laying in the bed, chilling, um, just like you know, floating off of the anesthesia that I was on, cause my lip, my lips were numb for hours, like two to three hours. How big? They felt so big and super numb. So once that started wearing off, finally, it was like 85% worn off my lips being feeling numb where I started to feel my jaw. And I'm like, oh, I was like, let now call the people. <laughs> I was like, call the people. He called the people. He was like, um, hi, um, my girlfriend, she just had surgery today and she wanted to know what medicine she's supposed to take. And the lady was like, oh, the lady was like, oh, tell her to take the pain medicine and like hung up. So we had to read the pain medicine and find out how many I'm supposed to take and how often. They ended up prescribing me hydrocodone. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have had experience with hydrocodone. I had never had experience with hydrocodone before. I'm the type of person who I don't even take Advil. I don't take Advil. I don't take those like those like um medicines that you know women usually take for their cramps or that people usually take for their headaches or migraines no if i have cramps or i have migraines i just tough it out i don't i'm not big into taking medicine for things because i feel like that's just slippery slope and i don't want my body to i don't know i'm very body conscious um when it comes to my health so i just don't like to just pop drugs you know but if you like to do that that's your business me personally, I do not like to do that. I do not take medicine for my migraines. I just tough it out. Um, cramps, I tough it out. Um, I, I do take medicine for my allergies, however I do. Only if like they're super bugging me and I need to, but like usually I tough it out. But the Benadryl, girl, I'd be, I'd be taking the Benadryl, baby. So like the pain medicine, no, I don't fuck with that. So that means my tolerance is super low. Yeah, low. So I'm over here, this man prescribed me hydrocodone. 
I'm over here like, okay, whatever, like whatever makes the pain go away. I popped one hydrocodone because I had to take one every six hours. He gave me like 10, so I didn't have a lot, which is good because I had a highly addictive pain medicine. Pain medicine itself is already highly addictive, but this was like a stronger one, like that you have to get prescribed. You don't find that in the um, pharmacy, I don't think, because I had never heard of it. So anyway, I popped my hydrocodone in like 40 min 30, 35 to 40 minutes later, I am hot, like, I was feeling right, okay? The way that I should have been feeling after surgery, I was feeling, and the pain was out of here, okay? She was gone. She was getting flewed out with the city girls and little baby, okay? Out of here. I was feeling right. And I went right to bed because that stuff made me drowsy. That shit made me drowsy as hell. But yeah, that I was like, oh, this the stuff people be getting addicted to. This the stuff. This the stuff. I took off two days, three, three days, three days. Yeah, I took off the Monday, the Tuesday, the Wednesday, and I went back to work on Thursday. Bad idea. I suggest taking off four days because that Thursday, my mouth was still hurting okay and then also the hydrocodone was working less and less which is scary because like i literally took it for like five days because i only had like 10 yeah I took it for five days but i would take it three times a day because every six hours um oh so i must have had more than 10. yeah i probably had like 10 11 12 or something i don't know i know i didn't take it that much for the first couple days but anyway the pain like the the medicine the hydrocodone like the effect was wearing off like the first day that i took it it was strong i was high but like the second third fourth days it was not as strong like it would take the pain away but i wasn't feeling high anymore it just would make it would just knock me out um but it was doing its job so i just wasn't feeling as high as i did the first day but definitely was knocking me out like within as soon as i would feel it i need to fall asleep like i could not keep going with my day um which is another reason why you should wait four days to go back to work or school because the medicine that you have to take will make you well, at least the medicine that i took if you get prescribed hydrocodone um it may make you super drowsy talking was hurting I could barely talk. I could not lay down on certain parts of my face because it hurt so bad. Yeah. And the swelling took about a week and some change to go down all the way. As I showed you guys, I was swollen for a minute and everybody was laughing at me and just making this big old joke. But I mean, my face was already chunky, you know? It was just like extra chunky. I'm happy that my teeth are gone and now I'm closer to having my braces off. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know what my next video will be. It will probably maybe be a makeup tutorial. Um, once I get Fenty skin, I'm definitely doing a video about that because I am obsessed with Rihanna and her ventures and I support her a thousand percent um if you have fenty skin comment below like what it do baby let me know is it fire does it smell great does it feel great is it heavy what does the packaging look like uh i'm sure it looks so pretty like i saw the pictures but like in real life it's different um my birthday was great we went out to eat but of course we can't sit down so we got ate in the car like a date kind of like a car date which i love those and we got Outback Steakhouse and that was my first time having Outback Steakhouse because I don't know like my mom never took us there before or my dad so my first time having it was with my boyfriend at, on my birthday July 14th and bruh why y'all never told me how good that shit is like I ordered um filet mignon mac and cheese and mashed potatoes 
perfect it was so good i ordered my filet mignon uh, medium rare because i'm that bitch and medium rare is mad good like people be like oh it's not cooked it's not cooked you guys are not mature enough okay your palate is not mature enough nine times out of ten the same people who say it's not cooked it's not cooked don't like sushi your palate is not mature enough it's not mature enough for me medium rare makes it tender I don't gotta chew, 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 chew for 25 minutes, okay? It's nice, easy, melt in your mouth, so good. It was so, it was perfectly cooked, okay? Perfectly cooked. It was so good, my um steak. The mac and cheese, I was scared. I was hesitant, because I am, if you did not know, of all my many titles, one of them is a professional mac and cheese er I know how the cheese is supposed to taste. I know how the pasta is supposed to taste. I know how baked is supposed to taste. And the Outback Steakhouse mac and cheese has the test with flying colors. Okay, it was so good. I was like, oh, mm, everybody, mm, it's so good. Mm. It was so good. Like, it wasn't too, it was not overcooked. The noodles were perfect. Al dente, perfect. The cheese, perfect. The seasoning, perfect. I tasted a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion. We had a little bit of, so, so little, um, it was not cilantro. Maybe it was, possibly. Cilantro, there was some green in there. They had the breadcrumbs, the crunchiness. Mm. It was so good good i was like wow like did they know it was my birthday they had to know because they really went in like the mashed the mashed potatoes fire they had flavor in the mashed potatoes it wasn't just butter it was flavor like i was so happy because i was ready to be disappointed like i was so ready for the mac and cheese to disappoint me and it really blew me away like I'm definitely going back there. I told I know, like, we're coming back to celebrate our new apartment. Like, I just like, we gotta find another reason because it was too good. Like, it was so good. So, good job, Outback. I didn't think that you would do that and you did it. You did it. You did that. So yeah, my birthday was great. Um, Lionel also got me like um, a gift card to Sephora with some cash on it. I can't wait to cash out because he really balled out and he got me um victoria's secret gift card <laughs> i'm about to buy some sweatpants <laughs> let me stop <laughs> uh, i might actually because i like i like their little um sweatshirt zipper thing i like those those are cute they're like um the pink it's black and it says pink on it and it's like um like a set and you're like i don't know how to describe it but i'm gonna buy it because it's so cute if they still have that and i like their pajamas but the lingerie mm, i might have to pass because i really want to get um savage x fenty lingerie because you know she represents for us melanin queens and Victoria's Secret doesn't. I'm just putting it out there. It doesn't. Um, not as much as they should. Also, their panties are way too little for my Gorilla Grip crazy fat. Exactly. So, yeah. Definitely gonna do a Savage Ice Fenty. Maybe I'll do a haul or something or have like Lionel rate it. That'd be cute, right? You guys are definitely gonna see him. We just have to get our apartment. Like I'm telling y'all, once we get the apartment, everything will look, everything will like be better in my life. Everything will just come to, like everything will align and just come and just stay and just 
be normal right now my life is chaotic that's why you guys have not gotten a youtube video in a while because my life is just everywhere like literally and figuratively everywhere i've been everywhere thankfully i can work from home because if i couldn't it'd be a problem so yeah i hope you guys are doing okay hope you guys are staying safe covid is very much real you can very much get sick and people are very much dying okay i work my job is to talk to people and help them and people are very much dying or experiencing deaths in their family due to covid this is real wear your mask wash your hands when you get home wash your hands like don't like after you put the key in the door and walk in put the key down wash your hands wash the keys wash the door handle or wipe it down with um your lysol whatever disinfect because covid is real okay if you are not sick or have not gotten covid or have not experienced someone else who had covid or some experienced someone who died from covid think thank the man up there because people are for real dying people's kids are dying people's parents are dying people's aunts and uncles are dying people's cousins are dying people's sisters are dying people's brothers are dying okay this is very much real and i want you guys to be protected please wear your mask when you are around people wear your mask when you get home wash your hands a few times it doesn't hurt to wash it more than once and why not wipe down your handle your door handles don't touch your face until you wash your hands i just i just want everybody to be safe thank you for watching make sure you like subscribe and comment i hope this video answered some questions about people who are maybe about to go get their wisdom teeth out it's definitely not scary um the iv did not hurt um it's mine over matter you just fall asleep and you wake up without teeth and you get drugs how much better can it get i mean i just wish i could have cut my teeth but i guess the doctor keeps them he had like a whole row of other people's teeth like in like special dishes and i couldn't tell what they were but i could tell that they were probably teeth because he's a, an oral surgeon so i mean it's not going to be eyeballs and um, it just said people's names and like their tray, a tray with their names on it. I don't know what he uses them for, but I do kind of want my teeth. I don't know, is that weird to want them? I was just like, why do you have them? Like, what are you about to do with my teeth? I grew them, I feel like I should have them, but whatever. Anyway. <laughs> I'm here to work to Geppetto, plus I'm Leto, where's my stiletto? Tell my jaw to send me my retro, used to be bite, but now I'm just hetero. Ain't talking medicine, but I made a move.